Hello, and welcome to another plan with me. Um, I'm going to try to do a voiceover. I've actually tried to do this voiceover a hundred times, and nothing has cooperated with me, so here's hoping that the 101st time is a charm. Okay, so I, anyway, I used this kit from Oh Hello Stationery Company. Um, it was my first time using a kit from her. I really liked it. I got her premium matte, and it felt wonderful, and I loved it, and I love the colors. I also pull in these Miscellany Boulevard um, frilly boxes. The greens worked really well with the kit. I had a feeling I'd probably need a few boxes, and they, I, I did. They came, they came in handy. Um, so, okay, yeah, the bottom washi or bottom sticker I refuse to call it washi because it's not washi the bottom sticker um didn't quite cover the entire bottom I uh, didn't cover as much as I wanted it to so I had this plan to use my own washi because I have a ton of it that I literally never use but I couldn't get it to work um so I finally gave up and I figured something else out down the road which I actually really enjoyed and hope that I can kind of recreate hopefully in future spreads. Um, so now I'm going to put down my full boxes. I thought the otters and these this kit were super cute. Not like too cute where I felt kind of like I was doing something for a small child, <laughs> meant for a small child. Just cute enough um, that they were adorable but not childish. I don't know why I'm telling you that. that That's a weird description, I know, but that's how I felt while using this kit. <laughs> Grown-up cute otters, which doesn't make any sense, so I don't know why I'm still talking about it. Okay, so yeah, here's me, you know, putting a sticker down and then immediately re-pulling it up and putting it back down again, because that's kind of what I do. My original purpose of doing this um, as a voiceover was because I was getting over a... I still had it at this moment, actually, a sinus infection, and talking audibly was really difficult, <laughs> and also I sounded horrible. Um, yeah, so right now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Oh, I just go ahead and put down my headers. Um, I put these checklists in the middle of my spread right now and I'm kind of questioning if I'm going to do that in the future um, because it's something that I use but I don't consistently use um, and there's a lot of weeks where there's just days at a time that I don't use it at all so I'm still trying to figure it out I'm Currently, as you can see, I'm a no white space planner. Um, but I'm going to be honest, I want to be a white space planner. I feel like it's a little bit more fun, if that makes sense. Um, and I feel like maybe, and I every week I sit down and I'm like, I'm going to do white space. And even this week, I put like a sliver of white space in my um, sidebar. Um, but I just couldn't make it. I never, I, I always end up covering everything in stickers. So I'm hoping maybe if I don't use that middle box for a checklist, like that will make me feel a little freer to use some white space, but we'll see. So I was kind of struggling trying to figure out what to do for this bottom header. And I, yeah, okay. So I go ahead and I put down the odds and ends um, because that was the only thing that I had. I had originally planned to put down like the the thinner strips of the full boxes but um that description didn't make sense but you know what I'm talking about it didn't work out so I ended up putting this odds and ends um header down and I put my little things down there in the full box which I really actually liked because it kind of freed up my top box from not having those mundane things that really don't need to be planned, but it gives me an excuse to use more stickers. So I will go ahead and plan them. So I pulled in this Mambi clear text sticker because I didn't just want to put up a 
um, picture box up at the top for some reason. Um, it looks better in person than it does here in this video. It's, it's, the contrast is a little bit better. Um, Yeah, which later I ended up finding one that I liked better, but was not able to get that sticker off to save my life. So I have this great thing that happens when I turn this camera on. I don't have amazing handwriting, um, and hand lettering is not a skill I possess, um, although I'm trying to work on it. But I turn this camera on for some reason, and it just, oh, it's like ten times worse. I think this is the only one that I kind of write well, but I didn't even space the letters out correctly. I totally jacked up this no spin and it is hideous, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm on a cliche no spend, which I've stuck to for two weeks except for today. I bought, I did break down and buy some stickers today, but only because they were half price and it was actually from the shop she did some blind kit bags. I think she reformatted her kits. So I got two of those. And I only got two because if you bought two, I think you get like a free roll of uh, blah, blah, free <laughs> roll of washi. Yeah. So I'm also going to stick down this tracker for taking allergy meds, um, which I'm just going to tell you right well. and. I don't actually put it down there. That's that's great. I do put it down eventually, but right now I'm trying to fight with this meal sticker. <laughs> um, yeah, which I end up changing it. But anyway, I keep putting down this allergy med tracker every week, which is great because I still don't take my allergy medications. I get a shot weekly or sometimes bi-weekly, um, and I have two medications I'm supposed to take. I refuse to take the nasal spray because I just absolutely hate the way nasal spray feels when you're, you know, applying it or taking it or I don't know what the word is there, but anyway. Um, I'm trying to remember, do I go ahead and finish my sidebar or do I go back to working on something else? Because I went, I was all over the place with this spread. But yeah, you can see me putting in these little tiny slivers of white space, which, um, I actually really liked it. I mean, they're very, very tiny, but yeah. I also like to put down this next week thing because in my mind it's going to be really practical and I'm totally going to use it. And again, I don't think that I really do. <laughs> I know I don't this week because, um, like I said, I spent most of the week sick. So to be perfectly honest, not a whole lot happened and there was a couple of times while I was shooting this I was like why am I still shooting this video like there's, <laughs> there's nothing to plan um okay so moving on to Monday the first thing that I mark is my day off which was not super enjoyable because I was sick I was sick all of the holiday weekend I started feeling sick on Friday and I was just hoping maybe you know it wouldn't turn into anything but it Oh god, it did. <laughs> I did not feel good pretty much this entire week. I'm still I'm still pretty congested. Um it's no fun. But anyway, I put this down. I ended up taking it off because I just couldn't quite make it work. But those stickers, um the film upload, whatever, and the clean label are all from Samantha May Sticks. Um Put the film one on a half box because as much as I want to be white space, I just couldn't bear putting it down. And I don't know why I put it in an entire half box because I didn't I didn't film just a whole lot today, but or on this Monday, but that's what I did. So I ended up putting I put the craft room sticker back because that'll definitely be something that I mark again because I'm very messy when I'm being crafty. Um, so I put it back and I just put down a little um, house label there. And here I am actually using the to-do list. However, because I didn't feel well, feel well, um, I don't think a lot of that got done. Honestly, 
I think I pretty much just uh, laid on the couch. Um, so we had a plumber in the house all week, basically, after this. Um, which was fun. <laughs> um, it's really fun when you discover that you have a pretty major problem. Um, <laughs> when you thought it wasn't that big of a problem and then you discover it is a big problem. But anyway. Um, so I also found during my look through that Mambi book, I found a Memorial Day sticker that I felt so compelled to use, which was really redundant because, I mean, I didn't have date covers, so you could clearly tell that it was Memorial Day because it's up at the top of the day, but I knew I wouldn't probably use it. I wouldn't have that book next year because I don't want to hang on to this stuff for that long. <laughs> So I'm hoping I don't still have that book sitting around somewhere a year from now. But anyway, I put it down there at the bottom in the uh, odds and ends section. Um, yeah, and I marked down a manicure, which I do not get until much later in the week. And that's when I knew I was sick because I didn't even feel like going and sitting and letting someone do my nails, <laughs> which is very unusual for me. Marking coffee. I'm not a big coffee drinker, but I wasn't feeling well. I, how many times am I going to mention that? Let's see. And I was going to go back to work, which I did go back to work, and I stayed there for two and a half hours and um, went home and did not go back until Thursday and only went back on Thursday because um, if I stayed gone for one more day, I'd have to get a doctor's note telling me that I could come back. And I wasn't going to do that. So <laughs> I went back to work and uh, again, not until Thursday. So yeah. So I ended up using these frilly boxes down at the bottom to track the meals. Um, and I really like the way that this turned out. I really like these frilly boxes. Um, her premium paper is, oh, it's fantastic. It almost kind of feels a little like hard stock, more so than just a regular um, sticker paper does. I don't know if that makes sense, but I really like these. So she's on my list of when I do buy stickers again, I'm going to buy some more of these frilly boxes because I, oh, I loved using them. Um, so here, for some reason, I skip ahead to the weekend. Well, I know why I did that because for the last like two weeks, I have forgotten to use my weekend banner. Not that it matters. Um, <laughs> I know it's the weekend. I don't need to mark that it's the weekend, but there's just something really fun about marking that. So I do. So I put my little TV show um, label down there under it for American Gods, which both of the shows that we're watching right now, that and Handmaid's Tale, both end, I think, next week. So I've got to find we got to find something else to watch because, <laughs> oh, and here's me like trying to get that sticker off and then finally realizing, yeah, that's not going to happen. So I just gave up. Um, I'm putting some deco down. I don't use deco a whole lot. I think the only reason I really used it this week is because I didn't have date covers. So I just wanted to put something up there to kind of fill the space. Um, but I actually really liked it. I, I used to feel like deco is like too much on a lot of the spreads that I watch. Um, but I think it turned out pretty good. And again, I don't, I fill in this to-do list and I don't know why, because I, I knew that I was feeling awful and I knew none of it was going to get done. So yeah, I pretty much just came home and hid in our bedroom and slept on and off all day because there was people going all through the house. Usually when I'm sick, I just post stuff on the couch, but um, I couldn't do that all this week. I had to just kind of hide in other parts of the house, which was fun. Um. Yeah, so here I am, like, trying to figure out what I'm planning for Wednesday. Um, 
so yeah, I do. The one thing that I ended up doing over the week was working on my craft room because it was pretty much. It was rough. It was. It's pretty dirty in there, or it was. It's. It's now much better. It's still kind of cluttered, but you can walk around in it. <laughs> I just had like piles of junk, and every corner of the room was piled up with just stacks of stuff that needed to be put away. So I finally got all that done, cleaned off all my tables. It's a much better place to be. Um, okay, so I have these that I ordered again from Oh Hello Stationery company and I think she calls them blobs I'm not entirely sure um yeah I use these crazy um serger tweezers to put stickers down because it's it's easier so finally I just marked um that I didn't do anything that day because because I didn't I mean like there I am just marking everything down out um, and on that one, I just wrote I was sick because again on Wednesday, I just didn't do a whole lot. Like I, I cleaned my craft room and I only did that because I have a really comfy chair in there and every 20 minutes, I just pretty much took a break and sat in the comfy chair and it was, it was actually pretty nice. Um, that was about all the energy. <coughs> Excuse me. That was about all the energy that I had. And here I am like hunting for, I think, actually I don't know, I could just, I guess, look at the planner that's sitting right next to me. Um, what sticker am I looking for here? I can't remember what I used. Hmm. Just kidding, I guess I didn't find it, so I didn't use it. Um, so again, oh, here I marked that I go back to work because... It was really sad. <laughs> Spending three days at home. And I only worked like half a day Friday before this. Um, so yeah, it really stunk going back to work because I was so used to just not doing anything all day. It was wonderful. Uh, aside from being, you know, sick while doing that. But anyway. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to work on this bag I if you haven't guessed I do a lot of sewing um, and yeah I, I never did finish that bag because <laughs> I started to finish it and I realized I don't like where this bag's going so it's kind of just sitting off in a corner untouched um, and now I'm just using some stickers from the kit and some munchkins to mark some odds and ends if you will on the video, I don't know, it doesn't really show up. That black pen actually showed up pretty well on that darkest sticker. That's what I always worry about on the, when I watch these videos is people use these really dark stickers and I'm like, why? And um, anyway, so I pre-plan everything that I'm going to do on Friday and I don't end up doing any of it because I ended up taking a... Um, impromptu trip to Dallas with my aunt um, just an overnight trip and I only did it because I wasn't going to be driving so yeah I was gonna pull up that Netflix sticker because that was my original plan when I got off work was to just go home and watch all the Netflix but um yeah it wouldn't come up so I think I end up marking it on the little to do Yeah. And I was really sad because I ruined a sticker or a frilly box trying to make that work. Oh, no. Okay. I put it down at odds and ends. Um, and the, oh, the other reason I went with her was because, um, like I said, I do a lot of sewing and there's a lot more fabric shops there. And, um, so yeah, that that was probably the bigger reason that I went. <laughs> it's because I wanted to go buy fabric. And I spent, for all the money that I was like, I'm not going to buy any stickers. I spent that and so much more. <laughs> and then some on fabric in Dallas. But I got some great fabric. So that was exciting. Um, so 
so yeah, I bought a new pattern and I spent Sunday afternoon working on it. And then I also finished another new pattern that I bought. So Sunday was actually fairly productive for me. And I did it all while watching Lifetime movies, which I haven't done in a long time. Those used to be my guilty pleasures and it was really <laughs> enjoyable and relaxing. Um, yeah. So I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to fill in my sidebar. I track what I post on my sewing Instagram over there. And I did pretty, I think I had all seven days, no spend on stickers specifically, and zero days on allergy meds. I finished putting in some more deco. And yeah, I filled in that empty to-do box with those otters. So I was actually very happy for the extra deco this week. Um, so yeah, I am really happy that you joined me for another plan with me. And now that I've finally figured out how to do these voiceovers, um, hopefully the next one will be up much quicker.